What is the TikTok Creator Fund and how can you leverage it to make money on TikTok? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Stay tuned, it's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Owen Video, YouTube strategy growth coach and founder of the Video Marketing School.com, where you can access tons of pre recorded training videos that will help you to build a profitable YouTube channel. Today, we're talking about the TikTok Creator Fund, and essentially, what that is, it's a big pile of money, it's a big pool of money that has been set aside. It started with $200 million, but TikTok has committed to uh, gathering over a billion dollars by summertime of next year. And all of this money is sort of sitting in a pool waiting for creators like you to get monetized and to start making money on the platform. So essentially the way that the Creator Fund works is a lot like the way that YouTube AdSense works, right? Like every time you upload a video, some ads play in front of it and you as the creator make a couple bucks. Now on YouTube, there are tons of advertisers that are advertising on YouTube. So there's lots of opportunity for monetization. TikTok doesn't work that way yet. In fact, there are very few advertisers on TikTok. So the advertising revenue isn't big enough to pay out creators. So what TikTok did was gather private money and that money is now being dispersed out to creators in an AdSense monetization type of way. So what you need to do as a TikTok creator is get qualified for the fund and then start making videos. And when you do that, you'll start making money every single day. Now you might make, you know, 35 cents a day. I made, yeah, I started off making about seven bucks a day. Now I'm up to 15 bucks a day. And I'm really excited about it because I think there's lots of money to be made on this platform. So how do you qualify to get paid from the TikTok Creator Fund? Well, TikTok has a couple different requirements. Number one, you have to have over 10,000 followers. And that might seem like a lot at first, but you could, with one good video, you could get 10,000 followers. In fact, one of our videos that we launched has gained us over 60,000 followers. So you do need to have 10,000 followers, but don't let that blow your mind. It's a little bit easier than it is on YouTube. The next thing is that you have to have received at least 10,000 views on your videos over the last 30 days. And so there's a lot of incentive here to be uploading and to be uploading premium content. Now, you also have to be over 18 and your account has to be a pro account. You can't be monetized on just a regular profile account. So let's dive deep into the creator fund and how it works, what it looks like and how much money is possible for you. So the real question is how much does the TikTok creator fund actually pay creators? Well, to do that, let's actually go inside my account and take a look. So I'm going to open up TikTok here and I go onto my channel page and keep in mind, you have to have a pro account for this to work. So I'm going to go over here into the three dots. Okay. And I'm going to click on pro account. And then you can see here that I have the TikTok creator fund down at the bottom. Now I've already applied and I've already gotten in. So as soon as you hit it, the first thing that you'll see is a balance of what you made for the day before. And you can see here that I've, I've totally accrued $397.35. Now look, I, I understand that that's not enough to pay your bills, but it is enough, okay, to pay an editor. It is. And it is enough to buy some props and to buy fun things. So we're, we're doing a new series with my son where he's going to wear a costume and I had to buy that costume. What I make per day here is, is well enough to, to cover a $10 costume on Amazon. But take a look at, at a couple of the things here. First of all, total estimated balance. When I, when I click on that little I, I can see here that the balance for each day is calculated three days after the day in which the video views were accrued. Your balance for each month can be withdrawn approximately 30 days after the end of the month. Okay, so this is kind of what we would call like a 60 day net. And what that means is that they tally the numbers for 30 days and then you can get paid 30 days after that. And I know for a lot of you younger creators, you might be like, oh, that sucks. But in the business world, like 60 day net, 90 day net is kind of like normal. You know what I mean? Because they got to make sure all their numbers are correct and then they got to like give it to a banker and the bankers got to do this and, and do all those other things. And look at the bottom where it says uh, your balance for each month can be transferred. Okay, so they're going to wire you the money. I'm not there yet. They haven't asked me for my bank account yet, but you got to keep this in mind. The whole idea of the TikTok ban, okay, was because TikTok was sending their data over to the communist government in China. Now, Think about what that means. When you put your bank account data in here, 
the Chinese communist government will have access to that. That is key. And that's why Trump stepped in and said, no, we're not going to let that happen to our citizens. So to put some context in all that, Trump actually did a really, really good thing. And, and I know that it's really popular to hate on the president, but at the end of the day, the, the TikTok ban made everybody safer, okay? And, and, and took a lot of power away from the Chinese government. So that's really important to understand. Now TikTok is owned by Oracle, which is based in Austin, Texas. And so they, they follow American laws, which means your bank account information is safe. Let's take a look at some of these um, numbers here. Okay, so when, when the account first started, you could see like, you know, one day I made 35 cents, you know, big deal. But then those numbers started to increase. Now, it's important to know that we don't know the algorithm that TikTok uses to calculate these numbers. Okay, we, we simply don't know and they haven't made any plans to release them. To be honest, I don't really care, right? Because I didn't start TikTok to make $397. I, I started TikTok to grow my sketch comedy business, which, which I hope to expand onto YouTube and, and into other parts of my professional life. But you can see that that the numbers increase relative to the videos that you post. So you post a big video, you get paid more money. And if that video continues to trend, you'll continue to make money. So you can see here, it's like a buck 78, a buck 69, so on and so forth. Now let's go back to like my biggest day. My biggest day ever was on the 7th, okay? The 7th of September where I made $64 in one day. And you can tell by the number. So this was my big, sort of viral video. Let me let me just go remind you of it right here. So this video right here with 8 million views. And then the video after that had 1.9 million. Okay, and then even look at this, the video, two videos before it is, is now up to 1.2 million. So look, you make good videos, you get paid more money. How many of you, if a stranger came up to you and said, hey, I'm gonna give you 50 bucks a day, you would say, oh, that's not enough money for me. None of you would say that. These videos take me about 15, 20 minutes to create on my phone. And, and so the money that we're getting paid, I think is, is really, really cool. And I'm using my analytics to make better content. So if you wanna know how to make better content that gets paid more money, watch my video on, on how to read your TikTok analytics, okay? So let's go back into the creator fund, pro account, creator fund. All right, we can see sort of the numbers tallying. So my biggest day was there on the 7th, but you'll notice that all my numbers started to gradually sort of go up, up until the 12th, okay? And I'm making like, you know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks a day. And even now it's like down to 16, 15. You'll see that the numbers decrease when you stop uploading videos. So I, I think that the average creator would say, hey, if you wanna make more money, make more videos. I'm a little bit different. Like for example, let's take a look at one of my favorite creators here, the McCarty's. I really like the McCarty's. So I'm on his profile and, and take a look at how he's got like 34,000 views today, 180 and 66, right? If you total those all together, it's somewhere around 300,000 views, okay? Me, on the other hand, I would rather make one video that gets 5 million views than four or five videos that get 80,000 views, okay? Now he does extremely well as well. He's got, this one's got 2.1 million. So these are really good videos, okay? So I'm not trying to discredit the McCarty's. These guys are really funny and they've really, I think, mastered wholesome comedy on TikTok. But again, it's, it's not just about uploading more videos every single day. That's one strategy. The other strategy is taking time with your videos and making the best possible video so that you can increase the amount of money that you're making in the creator fund. Now, there's one big question that I get asked and I would feel irresponsible if I didn't talk about and that is, where does the money come from, right? It's this big pile of money, where does it come from? Well, the short answer to that is that it comes from the companies, from TikTok's parent company, a company called ByteDance. And ByteDance is a Beijing-based company, and it is the largest, most valuable, privately held company in the world. And all of that is pretty cool, right? It speaks my language, it's a private business, it's large, they have lots of different sub-brands. But here's the thing, it is a Beijing-based company. And so when we ask where that $1 billion is coming from, it's probably coming from China and Chinese investors. I don't think it's solely coming from China, but that's the big answer that you're gonna find. And so, you know, I, I personally don't have a problem with that, right? I know where the money's coming from. I agree with the whole TikTok um, restructuring, how it was uh, transferred to an American company and put into American servers. And I'm really happy with that. I think it's, it's a much more secure app today than it was three months ago. 
That being said, I think that you should know that's where the money's coming from. And I don't think it's necessarily nefarious. The whole goal of TikTok is to become a, a short form competitor to YouTube. And so in order to do that, they need to attract creators. And in order to attract the best creators, you gotta pay them. So uh, this fund is there, it's available for you to take advantage of. You just gotta keep creating content that people are gonna like and then grow your channel so that you can start making money on the platform. Now, if you wanna learn more about how TikTok works and how to read your analytics and, and really master the art of TikTok and grow as fast as, as I'm growing now and as some of my, my clients are growing on that platform, then watch the video that's on your screen now. We'll go deeper into TikTok, we'll teach you some more things. I hope to see you there. I'm Owen and I'll see you in the next video.